Hey guys, Eric from Living Light here. Uh, we all know what this is. This is our uh, Camco 15 foot uh, traditional sewer hose. It's actually been great, but we've had it for just about two years and it stinks. We've got a, uh, a solution that was sent to us by Thetford that we're gonna test out right now that supposedly is gonna help us get rid of this. So before we get into the nitty gritty, let's get rid of this, take off our gloves and tell you a little bit about what's been going on. So we haven't had our RV or our bus for almost six weeks. It needed new front tires and a bunch of other stuff. Our radiator was leaking. Uh, so that's why we haven't been posting. Um, obviously because of that, we've got a huge backlog of stuff and reviews and other things to do. We're actually here in our family shop up in Connecticut. So we thought it'd be a great time to start to get through some of the backlog. Uh, before we get started on the Thetford product we want to show you today, a couple quick things. We've got this awesome mobile router by Petwave a new model that's ultra small portable, a really good entry price point. And this has the new advanced modem that supports the LTE advanced functionality. Um, Verizon, AT&T unlimited options on our store we'll be talking about. You can message us for that. This nifty uh, 4G MIMO antenna that's roof mountable for a lot of the wave devices. Um, that's coming up. Um, I don't know how to say this. Asioga. This company is pretty cool. Looks like they sent us uh, a bunch of high-end faucets and a bunch of discount codes for you guys if you're interested in replacing your faucets in your RV with some upgraded kit, um, some CB radio stuff, got their stuff, water filtration systems, all sorts of stuff. I'm going to get this all cleared off and we're going to get to the main event, but make sure to subscribe for all of these future videos. Okay, got everything cleaned off a little bit. Looks a little bit nicer here and we're going to get into this new product from Thetford. Before we start, um, why haven't we looked at any upgrades to this traditional product in the three years that we've been uh, full-time? To be honest, it's because it works and there hasn't been any alternative that has done really what we wanted it to do uh, up until now, we think. Uh, traditional sewer hoses, they're inexpensive. You can get them just about anywhere. Uh, when they're gross and sinky, you just throw them out and replace them. Um, and they, they work pretty well. Um, on the downside, you've got to put caps on them. They're, they're gross and stinky, as I said before. Uh, sometimes they're too short, sometimes they're too long. You need gravity for them to work properly. And they're gross and stinky, did I say that? So, enter Thetford's answer to all that. Now, this is called the Santacon Turbo 600. Um, Thank you to Andy and uh, the folks over at Thetford for sending us one of these. They did send it to us free of charge in exchange for doing this video, but uh, you know that's not gonna that's not gonna make us recommend it or not. We're gonna tell you guys what we think about it because we got to live with it. So this isn't our first macerator. If you have looked at any of our videos on our channel, you might have seen us use our FlowJet, which is a portable macerator that uses a garden hose for evacuation. We've had it for two plus years. We've been very happy with it when we needed to dump uphill or when we were at home and we had to go long distances to get to a clean out, etc. That's been a good option. But the challenge has been that the vast majority of the time, we didn't want to spend the time to hook that up and also just carry around a garden hose that specific use was for dumping. That was kind of, you know, God forbid we ever mixed up our hoses. So it's been sort of a emergency use only product. Uh, the reason why we haven't looked at any uh, of the macerating systems that are on the market right now as a permanent solution has been because most of them have had a couple major drawbacks. One of the top reasons why we haven't switched to a macerating system up until now has been speed uh, and noise. Those are kind of, I'll kind of bundle those into one thing. The macerating systems are very noisy and they're slow. Um, in a situation where I can pull a, a gray lever and a black lever separately and dump tanks in you know less than a minute, you know, go to a macerator and we're talking five, six minutes in most cases uh, to dump. So, you know, it's just a lot of time added along with a lot of noise, especially if we want to do this uh, late at night or early in the morning. The second major drawback that we found is that most of these macerating systems on the market 
don't have an effective gray water bypass. What that means is that when you're camped and you're not running the macerating system, your gray tanks fill up. Now, some of the systems, including Thetford's old version, did have a gray water bypass, but it was an afterthought. It's the only word I can really think of. Um, basically like a tube that went around the pump and let gray water bypass. That's very prone to things getting clogged, um, and to just not working reliably. And if I'm going to install a system that's kind of essentially designed to help me uh, not have to touch a bunch of dirty products all the time, having to disassemble a macerator to fix it or unclog it all the time, is, it's not going to save me any time. So we've pretty much stayed away from macerators, but we've kept our eye on them, hoping that some company will come along and build something better. So Thetford claims they've done it. And they've done it not by doing what most people do, which is hobble together a bunch of components that are kind of found off the shelf. They've actually done it through research and development and through designing and developing a custom solution. Now, what I really like about the SaniCon 600 product line is they've developed a bunch of different versions. They've developed a portable version that can you know, be moved from RV to RV. They've developed a... Uh, a version that is sort of semi-permanent for Class A vehicles that have enough space for a hose. That's the one that we have here. And a bunch of different other options that we'll list in the full article uh, listed below. So, Thetford claims they've solved all of these challenges. And I think kind of the key or the heart of that solution is this, which is a high volume macerating pump that operates with a standard inlet, but a larger outlet, and incorporates inside of this pumping system that gray water bypass that I'm talking about. Will it work? I don't know. That's what we're going to find out. But before we get into that, let's do a complete breakdown of all the parts that are included in this box. We've got our instructions. Parts list. Electronics and heavy duty switch on and off. Looks like 12 gauge wire. We'll get into electrical shortly. I recommend a heavy gauge wire to control to run that pump from your main house batteries. Really heavy duty adapter kit. This is going to adapt us from uh, our traditional bayonet fitting onto that pump. This feels really solid. Um, I like this clear elbow here, that really nice touch. So you can troubleshoot uh, any flow issues. Mounting system, I guess. I haven't done this yet. Screws, clamps. Here's our hose. I'll put the exact length of the included hose down here. Um, feels pretty strong. I know that Thetford has mentioned that, uh, to me at least, they've had some issues with this hose. This is an upgraded hose um, that uh, feels pretty good. This is not like a vacuum hose. This feels like it's uh, definitely reinforced. And marketing sticker. Winterization instructions, that's a nice touch. So that if you've got to winterize your pump, you know how to do it. And contact information and serial number. Before we get too far down, make sure that you get yourself a really nice heavy gauge wire to control this macerating system if you're thinking of doing this project yourself. This is a marine grade power wire that we use. It's a 10 gauge wire, 10 gauge each on the, uh, the positive and on the ground wire. This stuff's great. Um, and you can even go with a uh, eight gauge or bigger if you've got long distances to run, depending on where your batteries are. All right, welcome to our wet bay set up here. Um, we've got a couple upgrades in here that we're gonna discuss in future videos. The biggest one being that we have a touch screen control system we installed um, using a Raspberry Pi back end. Uh, we wrote all the code uh, in Python for that. And that gives us the ability to open and close our valves, turn on our rinse system with this electronic uh, valve control, 
and uh, deal with our, our black tank and also control our macerator. So what that means is we're not gonna be using the switching system that came with the Thetford to turn on and off the system. We still will put uh, a full explanation of how to wire in the Thetford system with the existing switching. The instructions are very detailed and it's super simple and straightforward. You plug two of the wires into the battery and two of the wires into the pump and you're done. So it's very easy. But stay tuned for future videos on some of this. You can also control our system using your cell phone, which is pretty cool. So well, open a tank, close the tank, but be careful using that because you want to make sure this stuff is supervised when you're using it to avoid any messy accidents. So we're going to get our rinse hose here that we use to wash off our coach and clean our windshield and whatever else we can get out of here. It's pretty tight quarters. We're going to put up some cameras. Hopefully you can see what we're doing and uh, get this sucker installed. installed. The forecast was for sunny skies today. If your weatherman's better than mine, make sure you thank him the next time you see him. Uh, we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna wait for the rain to stop and then uh, start putting, connecting all the hoses and give her a test. Fast forward two weeks, guys, we're at a campground here and we've got full hookups. So we want to test this system and see just how fast this new SaniCon 600 system really is. Um, I got a stopwatch here and our black tank is currently at 82, um, which is pretty much when we normally dump. Um, we've got, I think, a 40 or 45 gallon tank. I think it's a 40 um, black tank in this. So we're going to hit the timer, close our gray, open our black, and we'll let you know when it's empty. We're about 30 seconds, still going. Sounds like the pump is moving, uh, moving pretty quick. We're at one minute and our tanks are showing 29. So it's moving pretty fast. I think it might be done in less than another 30 seconds. All right, we just heard the tanks empty out. The hose is retracting. Got about a minute and 40 seconds here, but I think it took me about 10 seconds to get it started. It's just finding a little bit at the end of the tank here. So 90 seconds. In the two weeks we've been using the system, we've been using the gray water bypass system, and we have to say we're very impressed. Uh, we've been leaving the gray system open, um, doing laundry, dishes, etc., and the pump has had no issues. The uh, water is basically flowing right through as if we were using a standard three and a half inch sewer hose, and everything is, um, it's just working great. We're really happy with that feature. Now, one thing that we didn't film in this video, but we did actually try, was dumping using the SantaCon 600 connected to a standard garden hose. And as we said before, you'd basically install this cap and then at the end you hook up your garden hose and that did work and it worked very well and it did dump very quickly as the manufacturer describes. Pretty much the only drawback I'd say is that there is no hookup for a rinse system um, to rinse out the hose after you've dumped the tanks. If you look at our flow jet here, which is our portable macerator, we've got our waste out here where 
that's where everything goes to your clean out or whatnot. And then this is a hookup for a fresh water hose. So after everything's done, you can turn this valve on and rinse out all of the, uh, the hoses with fresh water. This system doesn't have that. Um, if you were going to primarily use a garden hose for dumping, I think that's pretty rare. That's just for folks that may have a particular situation with a piece of property where they have to do that. Um, I'm not sure this would be the setup I'd go with. I'd probably go with a flow jet. Um, but if you're just looking to have that garden hose functionality in a pinch, this does work really well. Just make sure that you fill up your gray tanks with some fresh water to clean out the system before you get started. One last thing before we let you guys go. Um, Thetford has, as we said before, um, said that they've you know, really worked on this hose to make it very reliable and to ensure that it doesn't have any leaks, especially because it's under a lot of high pressure. A leak would be um, very unpleasant. Integra has actually started installing this on all of these hoses coming out of the factory. And what this is, is it's actually for hydraulic hoses. It's a nylon protective sleeve that goes over um, a hydraulic hose and protects it from abrasion. Um, I believe what Integra has figured out is they use the same thing and they put it over the macerator hose and that gives the hose a little extra protection from sunlight and uh, from just being on the ground day and night. So we're going to install this. Um, we'll put full links of what uh, the part numbers and whatnot are for this. But thank you so much for watching. Um, we're, we're so far very impressed with this product and uh, we'll see you on the road. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to the blog directly on livinglight.net and you'll receive email updates of all of our posts.